Welcome to the Burning Ship, where we talk about nerd stuff in a chaotic manner. I'm Frankie. My name is Jason. Here's Ivan. And I'm Jeebus. And joining us as our special guest, we got our good friend Luis. Hi, guys. Once, once again. again. Yeah, once again. Yeah. <laughs> Filling in yeah. for the Chris. Yeah, Chris is pretty much already uh, just locked in my basement at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm just filling in forever now. Yeah. Oh, after he left Antarctica, you just put him back in there? Yeah. Sent him to the right gulag. There. Yep. That's right. Poor Chris. Are you I at don't... least feeding him good and giving him I mean, his he daily gets anime. one meal a day. It's the and, penis I mean, that Frankie spilled. It's the penis that Frankie spilled, yes. Uh, but you're giving him his daily animes, are you? Right? Um, only. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I mean, you can't say that word here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, Frankie has some work to do now. Some uh, illicit animes, oh, yeah. sir. Uh, but Explicit. How, but how have you guys been? It's going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been. Same old, it's, same old. It's been tough. Really? Has it? Yeah, how's it been? Uh, for me, yeah. I got bills to pay. And still? And you got mouths to feed? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> His dog counts as one. Yes. Oh, dude, we recently got him groomed for the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was fun. So, are oh, you guys uh, training him? Uh, Yes. He was actually a lot calmer than I thought he would be. Uh, I thought he was gonna like be barking and uh, running away the entire time, but he did pretty well. Uh, after it was done, though, like our whole backyard was covered in his fur, like literally a blanket of it over our grass. It was interesting. Oh, so you guys cut him? No, we we had uh, this lady come to our house and she helped oh. us out. Must be nice, man. I have to go take Icarus to get sedated. What? For a grooming for a grooming? Really? Yeah, he's that bad. His anxiety yeah, kicks in extremely too bad. If we left Kuma alone Relatable. with the lady, then maybe that would have been the case. But me and my sister were there to like keep him calm mm-hmm. while that was going on. The only yeah. time he had any sort of issue was when they had the blower um, near his face because he hates loud noises. Mm-hmm. And as soon as it got close to his ear, he would run away and start crying. Mm, okay. But no oh, man, everything else is fine. We we uh, combed him so the rest of the fur got taken off. Oh okay. Actually, that's not yeah. a bad idea because uh, what uh, one of my dogs uh, she she gets nervous around people and like she just barks and like stays away from them. So it might be like a better uh, better idea to have someone come to the house and actually cut it here. Yeah, okay. uh, and it was cheap, man. I mean, I don't think we paid that much at all. So. All right. But speaking of dogs, it's something that um, I told uh, Frankie and his Jesus. I don't think Ivan was there for this one. but um, So I'm here on my on social media, on Snapchat, right? Okay. And Jason, Mora, okay, one of our friends, uh, posted a picture of her dog. Okay. And on the picture, it's just the dog picture, a heart with, a, with, a, with today's date, with that day's date. Right, okay. and it's just and it just goes by with two seconds. That's it. That's the whole pose, the heart, the picture of the dog, and the date. Okay. I immediately thought the dog it passed died. away. Yeah, right away. That would be my first thought. Exactly. So I messaged her. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about your dog. I'm pretty sure I had a happy life with you. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, she's a serious response. No, she didn't pass away with a tearful face, and I'm like. What the fuck? That's literally what it's supposed to be. That is the vibe. It would literally, be that yeah. that would be the the thing that like it's like that's the like the stereotypical like oh, passing away. Yeah. That's what I thought right away, and I was like oh, and then what's it called? We kind of just left it off at that after that point. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, that's. I just started That's laughing the fact that I thought it was dead right away. And then she comes up like, no, and it was just not. I was like, what? You think she got many messages about that? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't think so. Because she's uh, the way she responded was, hopefully nobody else thought that. So I'm pretty sure nobody else has responded to her about that, about it like that. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what if you were just the first one and then they came after? Wow. 
just an avalanche? Yeah. <laughs> you were the one that started the avalanche. I was the one that spreaded the rumors. Yeah. <laughs> the dog. The dog's dead. Dog's Sorry, dead, guys. So, so, yeah. Uh, that's horrible. Yeah. I'm the best friend ever. Yeah, you are. Oh. Uh. Eh. <laughs> I agree with Jesus. Could use improvements. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, speaking of which, by uh, anyways, Jason or Ivan, <laughs> the first you guys watch uh, Stranger Things? Heck yeah, dude! Oh, Finally got best... around to watching the whole season. Season and I know we keep three. Saying this, we will eventually review it. Uh, oh, we're just waiting on Chris finally, at this though. Point. We're waiting on Frankie to finally yeah. watch season one. No, yeah, we're waiting on Frankie to. But I was gonna ask you guys: Did by chance did I leave my uh, switch uh, charger over there? Did you bring it? What? Yes. How'd you understand that? No. At least it's not at our house. Mm, Okay. Because I can't find it here, and I did take it over there. So I don't know if if I left it over there, like, because I can't find it. (laughs) Yeah. Does anyone want to buy a switch charger? (laughs) (laughs) Hey guys, you watch you guys watch Stranger Things? Did did I leave my switch over there? (laughs) What? Might as well ask. It's a strange yeah, I, thing. That could have been the, the first. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> and everything you stand for. In this world right now. Frank, uh, at least at this point, you just get the Switch Lite right now. <laughs> oh, just because I can't find my charger? Yeah. yeah. Just because you can't find the charger, just get the Switch Lite. <laughs> yeah. Don't even bother. We'll talk, we'll talk about that a bit later. Just just continue your little, your little interview. Well, I mean, like I said, we're going to do an official review for it later on, but. Um, I guess right now we can just give our general opinions on it. I thought the season was pretty good. There are certain things that I thought could have been executed better, and it was a little too short, in my opinion. But I what do you like about it? it, dude? Most most of the story arcs in season three were good, uh, especially the couples. The couples evolved a lot throughout this one, which, you know, again, I won't get into it, but it was it was yeah, good. Yeah. Just keep it brief. What about you, Jesus? You liked it? I liked it. It's pretty good. I binge watched it all on July fourth. Yep, yeah. day one. What did you think out. of the cinematography? I know you're a big camera guy. Pretty good. Pretty I liked good. It. You like the shots in the mall? <laughs> yes. Could you tell? Oh, did you? I, I could tell definitely. Did you see Jason oh, in the yeah, background? Because yeah. they kept so... a lot of the stuff the same. Yeah. God. Except the only like the main thing that they changed was the signage that they had. So it was a bit weird seeing it? A little bit. It was weird seeing it crowded. And yeah, it was the... weird seeing it crowded, clean. And at the end, right? they show like the wide shot, and you could like just see the whole thing. It's like, well, I mean, that's how it was when place. we were, were when, when, at least when I was a cut shit. Yeah, kid. <laughs> you were a what? <laughs> when I was a kid, that's how it used to be. It was pretty crowded back in the day. I mean, I remember it as well. Being now it's crowded, ghost but town. not that crowded. You know, apparently people are saying that it's bringing life back into the to the mall. It's not. No, I, it's I would. Not. I would. There's see no that. stores there. <clears throat> no, yeah, I, there really I, isn't. The thing that they probably thought is that um, it's because of all the people there at the time of production would go off to the storefronts and look at stuff and or buy something. Mm-hmm. And that's why the owners are like, "Yeah, it's bringing life back." I'm like, "Well, I mean." Yes and no. <laughs> well, yo, the thing you could think about that is basically uh, the fan- fans of Stranger Things would actually want to go to that shopping center. And then be really Realize. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like super disappointed. That's why if if they put the money into renovating it to make it look old, I bet they could get a lot of good customers. But they didn't. In. The mall I mean, yeah, didn't. It, it already the- looks like that. Yeah. Look, Frankie. It's it, there's only one Poké stop there. <laughs> exactly, there could okay. be more. And it's the fountain. So I actually went through and saw the exact scene where if I was in it, they would have cropped me out. Really? And, yes, and I can't say it here, but mm. it's towards the end of the series. It's it's in the last scene ish. The really? series? How'd you get mm. season four already? Mm. Sorry, last episode. So you could have been. Uh, there for a sneak preview of the final episode. Yes. 
You see, they're but gonna I have didn't the, know what was going no. on. They're gonna have the unedited, have there, uncut no. version in the Blu-ray. No, no. I'm sure they got them in time. Uh, the frame, the way it ends, is before they had the security guard posted there. So like, there's a little barricade with like a not like a real wall, but like those kind of like walls they bring to like sets to like section off areas. So it was there, and then to the left of that is a security guard who was on a chair, and, like, if you had your badge, you could go through. If not, you had to stay behind that. Well, actually, there was two. Whatever. But, yeah, it would have been there. Did he look Russian? You know the funny part about that? What? No, go, Jesus. Did he look Russian? (laughs) No. Hmm. He was Russian to get Jason out. Oh, Oh, my. He actually was... He didn't question me until I started walking there because there was a Pokestop at the time. And I think I was on lunch break, and that's why I was there to begin with. You know the funny part about that article was, uh, by the way, Jason? Which the one? one where it's, it was mentioning the the like the store owner or the storefront owner talking about how business is looking pretty decent again. What? Uh, in that same article, they were like, oh, yeah, Atlanta police or whatever was commending the the officers is like they were so diligent in their duty making sure everything was well secured and no one was getting in and i'm just thinking that is some bullshit (laughs) i'm just thinking about this one guy going through there was there's two security points and i went Mm -hmm. through the first one no problem and i don't know why and if you had starbucks you could have gone through the second one yeah honestly i probably could have i could have just held it near my chest and just walked through but no because i was on my phone just looking down they were like show me your uh, your badge, and I was like, I don't have one. <laughs> so they kicked me out. Wow. It was cool, though. Dang, you could have oh, met... I wish I could say what scene it was. You could have uh, met the, the, the actors just and just then just be like, hey, does anyone have any Pokemon to trade? <laughs> yeah, just yell it out. You'd so. stay on what the about set. You, How'd you like this the season? Honestly, the way Jason really described it was honestly, honestly the best way y'all ever. Because, yes, there were some many things that were, that were executed properly. Maybe one thing specifically got my, my gears grinded. I think I know what you're talking about, too. I feel like you do. So, yeah. Once this, uh, once we review Stranger Things, as soon as Frankie finishes episode one, season one, <laughs> we'll start. Then, then we'll start. Yeah. That's the condition to let Chris out. <laughs> Oh my god. No, oh. no, no. There's more conditions for letting Chris out. No, he'll stay there. <laughs> Jesus. No, he's at not least, getting off light, man. At least Hold give on, him his computer. Not after what he did. Not after what he did. Right? That poor elephant. This guy. Wait. What? Oh, what? Elephant? Oh, you guys don't know about the second thing he did. Yo, Frankie, can I say something? What's up? Did you, did you actually leave it here, or did you leave it at our cousin's house? I don't know. Because I think they have an extra one over there. Then, if they have an extra one, then that's mine now. I'll message our, our I cousin. I think. Again, I'm not sure. I, I'll message him and be like, hey, did, did I leave my uh, Switch charger over there? Immediate response, no. <laughs> he already sold it. Like, Drain doesn't even have to send the messages. Like, no. Uh, he has an auto response. Those Switch right chargers are pretty expensive. They're like 30 bucks. How much are they? $30 is expensive. $30 a is a lot. That's an average for an adapter, dude. It depends. Yeah, but yeah. considering it's like a, just a USB C. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you do need the official Switch uh, charger. As and that's the, why it's expensive. Uh, to actually, well, did they fix the that problem actually? Because I know I remember early on in the Switch life cycle, um, there was a problem with it that w- it would break if you try to use a different Type C connection to charge it. I was so paranoid about it. I wouldn't let my cousin charge it with the goddamn phone charger. Why would they like, want to um, charge it with the phone charger? Because the, the, they're kids. <laughs> they don't know any better. Uh, so the thing with it is it doesn't supply uh, sufficient voltage to actually charge it. So you you could plug in the USB C, but it's like it's not giving it enough uh, energy to actually charge it. Look, what I'm saying is is that that's not a problem. It shouldn't be breaking a console because it's using a different connection. 
I forget. It was the type of Type C it was. It might have been a, the issue. But could be. I, I think they fixed it, so or then, at least doesn't I destroy got a your console. So the the new switches, right? They can't dock. Well, uh-huh. well, let's let's go a bit about into the new the new switches first, and then we can talk about all the extra goodies and what's not left in and out. Because I feel like that one should be able to charge with. A different adapter than the one that you have for the regular Switch. I mean, it should, but knowing Nintendo, they will try to get the money it's worth and not let that happen. I mean, does it not come with an adapter? Uh, Uh, I don't know. You remember that time when they did it? Oh, yeah. What was it? The 3DS? (laughs) Yeah. One of the 3DSs? Oh, Oh, my God. Yes, that is true. So, so I do know that there are off-brand adapters that connect directly to the TV. But for the new one? Yeah, for the Switch. No, we're talking about the new Switch. Yeah, Switch mm. Lite. No, but I assume that adapter would work because the adapter that they sell... Uh, I saw this at GameStop. And the adapter doesn't connect to the dock or anything. It just connects directly to the Switch via the USB-C port. So, like, USB-C. the way that the dock would connect to it. Yeah, but without the dock. Yeah, that's I mean, what, it's just an adapter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there there are third-party ones. What we're saying is that you can't just take any Type-C charger and connect a switch to it. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were talking about uh, connecting it to the dock. That was my fault. No. No, obviously the Nintendo one is going to, the proprietary one is going to be the the main one that works the the, the best. The best, there we go. Oh, God. Um, but... Yeah, like Nyko or whatever it's called. Yeah, they're they're gonna have an off-brand adapter that works uh-huh. varyingly. Yeah. Or, I'm trying to read here. Or are they going to do it like the 3DS, where uh, the newer 3DSs didn't come with the charger? Boy, you need to clean them cotton out your ears. <laughs> we mentioned that. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah i feel like frankie listens to us half the time and then half the time he doesn't just thinking about the charger he left at your cousin's house (laughs) you you see the the lag on my internet is affecting me and i'm hearing sentences like from 30 seconds ago (laughs) you're from the past lag works (laughs) (laughs) bad lag it's like really bad lag um but yeah, what's it called? I mean, it doesn't tell us what comes in these. Um, well, okay, so looking at Nintendo's official page for the new ones, it doesn't seem if, like it has a TV mode at all. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't. That's, com- that's confirmed. It, like the, Did you not? The presentation, uh, it had uh, the, the head of Nintendo. It l- looked directly at a TV. It's like, you see this? Yeah, you, this can't connect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it's, they, uh, they're marketing as a full handheld. A, a full p- handheld, yeah. Basically, mm-hmm. a p- more powerful DS. Um, but that can play their new titles. They're at. They're showing yeah. accessories that are good for it, I guess. There's a, a charging stand for the Nintendo Switch. I guess that's gonna be, something you might want to get if you want to, prop it up. Um, the problem with this one, the the handheld one mainly, um. Is that a bunch of games that require like for you guys for uh, anyone to retract the Joy-Con uh, to use like Let's Go? You actually need to buy separate Joy Cons in order to play those kind of games. Wait, really? Yes. Yeah, because it doesn't have any IR sensors or any of the detachable controllers. Mm-hmm. So any games that require it, like the One Two Switch or you, Let's Go. Yeah, no, actually, really Let's Go. It. You could play it in handheld mode. Oh yeah, because it has a gyroscope, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So as so long as they works. didn't take out the gyroscope, you could play Let's Go. No, 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 no. It has a gyroscope built into it. I remember that much. So, um, so here's my thing. The only thing I knew about this thing was that it was two hundred dollars, and I was pretty, like, okay, pretty expensive. I might go to the Switch. And now you're telling me that I can't remove the Joy Cons. Nope. No, no, nope. I can't plug it up to my TV. No, nope. nope. to nope. play comfortably for my bed. And God knows if it has a charger. <laughs> Sounds yes. about right. I mean, there's a Sounds reason it's a hundred dollars right. less, my guy. So the dock itself is like eighty bucks. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Yes. 
It goes on and, sale though from time to time. So and then the charger is like thirty bucks. So that's like there's like your full right switch. There. Well, mm-hmm. by itself, it looks like it's smaller, so I feel like you wouldn't be able to put it into the docks because the thumb pads would actually be in the way. Uh, okay. I doubt Wait, it. So, it's a 5.5-inch so then... touchscreen, and the other one's a 6.2. It's not like a huge difference. I just I think it won't f- register. Another issue Probably happens. not. I was never a fan of the dock for the Switch. Should so you be cheaper then? Huh? So are you liking the light version? Lewis? No, 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 no. What I mean by it overall is I never liked it uh, because of how bulky it was. And I liked it. I actually like taking it around. So I, I took it apart and I uh, I put it into this small shell. Because if, uh, if you guys ever seen a teardown video for the docking station, it's literally like just like six screws. And all it is is a small circuit board. That's it. Yeah, it's not very. So that's why could, could I get like a Raspberry Pi and emulate it? Uh, you do. Uh, you probably, probably need like the correct software though, which is the the main issue. Hmm. I mean, at but, that point, I mean, for it's the... possible. Wait, did you mod your Joy Cons by any chance, Louis? Uh, no, I did not mod any Joy Cons at all. I Have you seen those to, clear could... mods? Here, I'm putting right? it right here of what uh the docking station is supposed to look like that I that I took apart and I put uh I put it into the shell but what's it called i did want to take apart the joy cons to make it into those clear ones uh, I, look nice i saw some joy cons where it's like the it was a pokemon crystal and those yeah, look so those nice but uh, uh a way i feel like they might be able to connect it would be through the the adapters that pe- uh off company sell that's not bad actually i really like that what do you mean because For the new one yeah, for the new one, because like the new I, one doesn't have any TV mode whatsoever. No. Yeah, it they lit, This is literally just for portability. Yeah. Look, yeah. literally, the video you sent. Um, just go to like two minutes in. It'll, yeah, like, it, it tells you sp- or like less than a, on their two website in. itself. It's like no TV mode, no tabletop mode. You can't remove the Joy-Con controllers. HD Rumble is not included, and IR Motion camera is not included. Yep, sounds about right. It doesn't say anything about the charger being sold separately, which is good. Yet. Yeah. Yet. Yet. No, there's Wednesday still time from, from now till uh, September, so. So, September 8th? that oh, is when? the adapter I was telling you guys about. Uh-huh. That they sell it, and it goes, like, directly to the Switch, then to the TV. So but that would be yeah. a normal switch. Yeah, no, but no, no. this still wouldn't so, work for the new one because they yeah, specifically said that it's not for the TV. It's disabled. Unless this is and this this is like a, an adapter, which then you would have uh, weird resolution problems. Mm-hmm. Probably. So it's because it's like emulating from a phone to a TV, basically. That's what I'm assuming that's going to do. But you're going to have really stretched resolutions if you try to do it like that. But I'm pretty sure they have it where the software is telling them the port itself not to no, no, no. any type of signal out. Yeah, but that's the reason you're going to get those kind of resolutions is because it's not no, no, meant no. to be on no. TV. If the, no, if no, no, the port is not able to send a signal out, nothing's going to come out. Yeah, you can't adapt a signal that's not coming out. Yeah, you might damage your console. Yeah, I, honestly, again, this is like uh, this is just marketed towards children. And I, people who are looking to get a, a inexpensive switch. I mean, I also see it marketing towards people that travel a lot, because like you don't want to take I, your bulky dog. I and really stuff like that. hate the ads though, because I really hate the ads though. The way they um, put it out there, where it's like, oh, you're gonna be on the road in nature at the park. You're gonna have your switch with you. Like, no. I am. Oh, you speak for really? <laughs> Are you really gonna take your switch with you if you go like camping no, or just? I'd rather just yeah. have my phone. On a... Exactly. That's all, I need. That's all also, the technology. The, I that were, the one that really ticked me off the most is the one that were in the my, my, uh, rock climbing. You're paying an <laughs> hour for that area. What, what they mean by traveling, I guess, is more like a, on the road or like on a plane. Yeah, that's that's, that's how like the I only see times it. I could see a, a good switch travel thing. I mean, I did play Fortnite on my like Switch that. when I was over there with you guys. Yeah. 
Not this year, but, but the year before. That wasn't this recent time, was it? No, that was last year. It was last year. Yeah. But, um, look, we're not going to lie. This is just a ploy. Not a ploy, but, like, this is just mainly to get more people to so they can sell more Pokemon units. Probably. That special no, edition that's, that's Pokemon. That's literally though. the reason. The 2DS came out the same time X and Y was about to release, for reference. Um, and... There's like what? There's three. There's three standard colors, and then there's the limited edition for Pokemans. Well, hey, if you click on Nintendo's website for the limited edition one, it does say it comes with a light system and Nintendo Switch AC adapter. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. Oh, good. So it comes with AC adapter. Yep. And that's what uh, all Jason needs. Yep. Oh, we didn't even mention this, but I mean, we mentioned it briefly. But a big improvement over this one, over the the other one is uh the d-pad the um, for especially for um fighting games and all that stuff it's this is probably the mm-hmm. one of the better improvements because i think the the left joy con usually has the just the the same layout as the x y b buttons mm-hmm. where they're yeah, all kind of just circles and it can get annoying if you're trying to input certain combos like that but at that point didn't people just buy the uh pro controller or whatever now they get the pro controller or they get um those um those other joy cons that are a bit cheaper they just don't have rumble functions oh yeah that's another thing that they lose here as well you lose um uh, the, the hd rumble mm-hmm. oh no, oh, no my shaky my shaky console i thought i thought you would be the most affected by that because you always have like a disassociation thing like I how do. you hate you hate red switches because they don't do like a click and it throws you off. Oh yeah, dude. I hate anything that doesn't feel real. Oh. So like, wouldn't not having rumble on controls freak you out a little bit? <laughs> no. It depends on what I'm playing, I guess. Like if I get hit, I would probably expect to get like a rumble, but if I'm playing like Pokemon, I don't expect it. Mm, okay. It starts vibrating out of control when you see a shiny like <laughs> Like like, Jason. <laughs> it it rumbles whenever you're uh the pokeball moves you know like when you're about to catch the pokemon like the three do mm-hmm. uh-huh, can we uh, can, huh. can we just talk that they haven't released many colors for the joy cons and that makes me really sad and there's been like the the data miners actually like finding like the different colors stuff like that but yet they the haven't data miners yeah <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there, there's like conceptions for the colors. I'm also sure there's like Japanese exclusive colors that aren't making their rounds here in the states. Mm-hmm. Um, like um, for instance, you know that uh, uh, this is not even the same console, but for the PS4, they they released a, a Monster Hunter exclusive PS4 uh, in Japan first originally, and then they sold the exclusive controller that came with that separately, if you wanted an extra one, and it the states they released it only in a bundle a limited edition bundle so that control is actually worth like 150 dollars and i'm not gonna pay 150 dollars for a playstation 4 control it's ridiculous so just mm-hmm. buy the bundle the bundle's 800 dollars. just sell the controller <laughs> <laughs> i hate you <laughs> he's giving you the obvious also solutions. correction on the dock price it's actually 89 dollars it Ooh. goes on sale though again though Very shouldn't rarely. that make the light cheaper yes it should because it not only is it missing the dock and the the proper joy cons really it's missing a bunch of the features that the original switch has and then it also Look, needs... this is meant to replace the the 3ds 2ds line now it's what it is as well supposedly yeah, but, again, but then but... they also came out and stated that they're not killing off the 3ds or the other but when but they consoles. they kind of did when they released pokemon exclusively on the switch and their other main title games exclusively on the switch yeah it like sure, what's it called yeah. that nintendo direct i don't think i saw a single 3ds game either probably not it looks like they're silently killing it but they don't want to make people feel like they've wasted a shit ton of money on yeah, every single yeah. ds and, console and right now what's it called those 2ds's are retailing for 200 dollars. so there's a price point they're setting it. They're probably gonna lower those prices even down further to mm. uh, maybe a hundred one fifty. I might snag one honestly. Just the two DSs are one fifty. Yeah, the two DSs are one fifty. Yeah, they're actually not that bad. 
I might snag one because that's really that's a disgustingly good price for the 2ds. Did anybody how, else see how, the they Final always win? They, they've always been. They've been 200, dude. No, how about the 3 ds that uh, had the switchable faceplates that n there was no more switchable faceplates uh, for them no more? Yeah, that was the, the new 3DS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one, and there, there's not that many faceplates out there for this. Did you get the Black Friday exclusive Mario one? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I remember that one. They sold out really quick. Oh, yeah. What's it called? A hidden one in uh in our store. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, actually, I went the new 2DS XL going for 130 on Target. That's pretty good. Uh, like I said, it's so, lower prices for those consoles. Yeah, MSRP is 149 Can I go back at uh, you guys saying the Switch not... The dock not being there should bring down the price. You guys are looking it. at it at, uh, at the retail price. If you're looking at it from like how much they pay... like for the dock itself they probably pay like five ten ten bucks for for the dock so it's like taking off that it's like if they're looking at it through like the actual like um company wise it's okay it's i'll fight be $10, you on this $20. point because if it costs them five dollars to build it why not just make a cheaper dock like literally just a brick that it stands on or something because they want the money it's a company Again, th there's it should still lower the price of the light if they're removing those features that they're retailing for ninety dollars. It's just and the then... cost per per thing, Jason. The, the yeah, switch right now is three hundred, so and it hasn't gone down a single bit. It probably never will. It, um, well, here's the thing: and, until the pro comes out, because that's also a legend. <laughs> it's a legend. That's an, also an alleged. At this point, one. I would rather get a regular switch. That one does ten eighty p. I actually want the pro, if anything. I just want to. I want to see more about it, and make a decision on that. But um, with this, the thing, the main problem, or the main problem and the main issue, I hope to see resolved in the the light is because um, there's a there's a big problem with the Switch Joy Cons that the the sticks drag very easily, end up dragging throughout its life cycle, like a year into it. Mm -hmm. It, and most people either just replace them on their on their other Joy Cons because it's easy to take apart a Joy Con. I want to know how easy it'd be to do it on this because it seems like it's almost not possible. So if you have bad joy, if you have bad sticks, then you're kind of screwed out on a console. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You'd you'd have to remove like the whole like faceplate itself just to get yeah, underneath it. it. Yeah, but what if it's what if it's attached to the circuits on the back? You know what I mean? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I. I see. That's a mean. problem. Mm -hmm. It makes it riskier to to modify your console, basically, and also repair to repair. Rate. Like if you you do like self repairs. Yep. I mean, are, are the specs on it any better? Can like it run games better? It, it has better exactly battery life. Um, it's gonna be the exact same as the Switch. Okay. So you don't see a you, you 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 don't see a downgrade in performance. You have a better battery. It's the same 720p you, you love. Oh yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. come on, guys. This is Witcher Mobile. <laughs> Witcher Mobile. Oh my god. That's gonna be a fun one. Um, but yeah, I I mean, I think it's a, a smart move. I just wish there were better colors because I don't I don't like any of these really. I mean the gray like one yellow would be my, uh, my choice. The, the gray Turquoise. one I don't want either. The, the 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 limited Pokemon one is probably the best looking one out of all of them. I don't know. To me, I would either go for the gray or the limited edition. Or you could just slap a D brand skin from our channel sponsor, D brand. Oh no, man. it didn't. Did not, not affiliated with D brand. Not 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 sponsored. Oh. Hey, we're, not, yet. we're not there yet. No. Not, not not yet. There yet. Dang. But I'd rather have if, Netflix sponsor us. If something. you do want a sponsor, Frankie, take oh. it away. So if you guys are too busy to actually watch uh, the video itself, you can take us on the go uh, with listening to us on Spotify, Podbean, uh, Google Podcast, and iTunes for your convenience. And the Zoom store. No. Damn it. He'll always make that huh. joke. 
That's a good joke. Yep. Um, and then, um, uh, first season of the podcast will be available in Blu-ray uh, at the end of the year. So, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I, you know, I used to sell those blank Blu-ray um, di- media discs. Those are expensive. If you want to yeah. do that, that's a Patreon reward. Make it four K. The only way to get the Blu-ray disc is if you find me out in the streets and right to the local uh, food store. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's stop making promises that we can't fulfill. What do you nobody, mean? Nobody promised nothing. I hope you know that. I, I already promise have, anything either. I promise I already heck. have disc one and two already on, uh, already burning right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you, okay. are you burning? Huh? Yo, uh. though. Like... So, I didn't know about this until yesterday, but Cuphead is having its Netflix series, and is it's going to be animated like the game was? Well, what? well, no, 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 no. Let's, let's break it down. <laughs> so, hold on. Wait a second. Because <laughs> a lot okay. of people are saying that, and that's true to an extent. Okay. Um, so, um, they actually interviewed the the game creators over at NDH Star Studio. Um, so, it is not going to be uh, like Flash animated. It's going to be drawn digitally. Oh, so it's not going to take 15 years to come out. It's not going to take 15 years to come out. It's going to be drawn digitally. It's going to be hand-drawn digitally and then uh, pasted like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it might look a bit different than what you're used to in the game, but it's still going to be like a labor of love to that old classic style. Yeah, because when I played that game, like that cartoon style, I may not have been around for, you know, when I was young to watch it in its heyday. We weren't, but yeah, we but watched. we watched the reruns of it because that's the all the all the TV we had. Throw yeah. a boomerang. 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 Ah. boomerang TV. It always comes back to you. A morning okay. cartoon network. One thing, though, one thing, though, if you guys go back to the new boomerang that's right now, they're not showing that old stuff at all anymore. It's really? very, it's not there at all. It's just more for like rejected. Let, let me say this. So if you guys actually want that old style like cartoons verb has boomerang on it and it has the classic cartoons Sponsored like the jetson no is not sponsored. Cartoon hangover whatnot, uh it's called yeah there's there's uh what? there's is that not what the the thing is is it boomerang uh there's there's a what lot of boomerang? them like there's classic I'm asking frankie there's classic nicktoons uh there's boomerang there's a horror one okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's pretty good Hmm. Sponsored by Verb. Are we actually sponsored by Verb? I wouldn't be mind sponsored being by sponsored by Verb. by Verb. It lets me watch Attack on Titan better in HD. <laughs> just watch it on Hulu. Jason, wait, yeah. can you do that? We just get Jason to give you my uh, my login for Crunchyroll Premium and you're good. I had it, but then remember? I canceled it because, um, what's it called? Uh, slime ended? <laughs> no, my premium account. I know, but I'm just telling you why I don't have premium anymore. But yeah, Verb, like, I've been watching, like, classic Nicktoons on Verb. All right. But it's not sponsored. Right, settle down. Just, let's just right, say right, that. Let's reel it back But now, let's, let's go back to, okay. to Cuphead. The Cuphead now. show. Yes. Oh, Yo, what's it called? Okay, so how are they going to continue the story? Are they going to base it off the game itself, or are they going to do a whole different spin on it? No, well, it's going to be more... Um, well, I mean, you want to go, Jesus? Uh, the script says, The character-driven comedy follows the unique misadventures of the impulse Cuphead and his cautious... But easily swayed, brother Mugman. Sounds like me and you, Jason. Oh man. Oh. Who's who? Jason's I'm definitely Mug. Head. I'm definitely Mugman. <laughs> I'm his Mugman oh. for sure, 100. percent I should not take that back. <laughs> G. Wilkers, Jason, isn't entering a, a neighbor's uh, backyard wrong? I'll, I'll put it this way: when when we went <laughs> to go watch Far From Home, originally Ivan had declined. And then I was like, but come on. He's like, fine, let's go. I mean, the um, only reason I went was because of my the interview I had. <laughs> that's what he says now. That's what I say. I wish you had I wish you had uh, swayed me to go the other way around in the theater instead of charging through like a, a, an entire row of people. Look, I didn't tell you which way to go, okay? I wish you did. <laughs> but I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was just like, I'm sorry. Sorry, yeah, I'm we, sorry. Got, we gotta reel this one back. Okay. <laughs> so, so this one, it seems like they're just gonna do random adventures. Yeah, like akin to old 
cartoons. You know how like um, Bugs like Bunny, Tom and, Tom and Jerry, Jerry. Or, or, or Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. Like the old What's shorts a cartoon and whatnot. That could be similar to this. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, a duo that just went on adventures. Animaniacs, the best trio in existence. That's a trio, my dude. I said yep. duo. A duo? Uh, not a duo. Tom and that... Jerry? The Pinky and the Brain? Pinky that... the... Yes. Pinky and the Brain would be a great example of this. Actually. Also from Animaniacs, <laughs> mind you. It, right. it looks like they got, what, Rocco's Modern Life? Oh, are you look? Are you shorts? Are you so looking on Verve? Users? What? No, no, this is this is the people <laughs> hey. uh, code code uh, producing. Yeah, Dave here. Watson and Cosmo Sergison. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say that Rocco's Modern Life is also uh, on on Verve. We're not sponsored, We're not sponsored by, by, Verb. by Verb. No, but it's just an amazing service. So is it though? It's okay. I had Verve yeah. when I had the Crunchyroll subscription. Their Never servers really are okay. It. Honestly, if I if I could do it, I'd just do the five ninety nine for Crunchyroll. Um, but that's later. Um, and then. So do you think like they we would mentioning. they would stick to like uh, the storyline to they sold their soul to to the devil? No, no. They 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 already mentioned that it's more like instead of retelling the games, it's just them going on uh, wacky adventures. Like akin to like you know just a bunch of shorts. Uh, I mm -hmm. I would still like how like them to pay like homage to that. Oh, I'm like, sure they will somehow. I'm sure the devil. Oh, will they'll be probably there. introduce the devil the devil character mm -hmm. in like a short or something. But if they like you know? started the story, like where the video game um left off ended, that wouldn't be yeah. a good idea because I'm sure they're yeah. trying to like separate it. I guess. Well, they also they're... have to save stuff for their um for the. So the DLC they have planned as well. Yeah, they still have one, what one more DLC coming out. But, but I mean, one that we know of coming out, and then if they're doing more stuff, that that's up to them. That's under wraps. I better see subliminal messages in this show. What? <laughs> Why? Are you drunk? I, I want my subliminal messages. Why? <laughs> Why not? Does anybody know when it's gonna come out? No, no um, official date has been announced. I want to say eventually. They do have a Netflix page already, though. <laughs> oh. Mm. I hope that's possible. Genre, kids, TV, TV cartoons. Oh, yeah. The way they also mentioned that part in the article is really cool. It's it's meant for children, but it has humor that adults can enjoy as well, is how it was phrased. Oh, so all, like, like all the SpongeBob? classics. Like SpongeBob? It's, it's like a classic show where it's like, you, you you don't have to feel like you're just sitting with your children if you have children to watch it with them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then get bored and then you can see like a few maybe adult references here and there that you could chuckle at oh you're you're gonna see those lists come up it's like oh 10 adult jokes found in cuphead netflix series i mean yeah sure. i mean but that's good you know it's it's fun to have adult humor in children's shows as mm -hmm. long as it's not overly done, a la, uh, what's it called? Ren when Ren and Steppy made an adult cartoon. <laughs> oh. Uh, that, yeah, there's yeah. so much wrong with that entire stuff. Okay, I'm not going to get into it, but. <laughs> um, Settle now. But yeah, I think that's cool. Um, I just think it's really good. And I hope I hope it comes out soon. I hope so too. At least within the next two years, I feel like it's a show I'd, I'd be willing to watch. So, how do you guys feel about just like style? in general, uh, video game adaptations coming to Netflix that aren't Dude, necessarily okay. live action? Castlevania so, is the highest. Castlevania is the highest the hi rated one. The highest regarded one as well. Yeah. Um, is there any other ones that I'm missing? Uh, Off the top of my head. Animated ones. That are out, yeah, animated or just non non live action. Non live action. Video game I, adaptations. Yeah, because I know The Witcher's a live action, and then they're doing uh, Final Fantasy, fourteen, which is something. Wait, that, what? They don't even have a. They don't. Well, they don't even have a network yet. Really? Just so like a concept. No, they have the live action. It's announced that they're doing it. They just haven't revealed who's um, where it's gonna be at. 
oh what streaming service exactly that's kind of dumb hmm. but yeah i mean it's it'd be interesting to see it um uh, those are live action though so i'm interested to see what um what other mediums they try to take it because I, I really like this concept for um for cuphead and mugman i i think any other one would be terrible if, yeah, can, it depends on what like. Can imagine style the outrage if it was a flashy animated. Ooh. Especially with how, because that game is, like, impressive to even play and look at. Because uh, they had to animate, they had to count for all the animations you would do as a as a player. Like each each action you would do, frame by frame. That. All right. Yeah. And, but and it's hand drawn. It's one of the best games out there. Like, it best indie game. Mm-hmm. I would argue that it, it's it's up there with just in general games, but that's a subjective opinion. <laughs> I no. just don't want to be disappointed in it. Well, Castlevania don't, set a good precedent. Don't hype yourself too much. I guess set your fair. expectations. Think Yo, about how man. recent the Netflix stuff has been going. That's true. Can I tell you what I have very low expectations on, though? Me? The new Still? Mulan thing? Oh. Yeah? The new Mulan? I heard... I heard... There's no singing. Okay. Heard, Rip. That's not too bad. There's no that's, Shen. That's... What? The music was, the, like, one of the best parts in the original. There is no Mushu. No. Oh, correction. There is music. It just won't have a lot of singing. Like the original, and they they want to keep this one more action based because I guess of the setting it's taking place in. Mm-hmm. Disney's doing an action based movie. Interesting. That's it's pretty cool. Okay. I'm more hyped for it now, right. honestly. As long as they keep a girl we're fighting for in there. <laughs> <laughs> but Hot take takes, though, uh, I think that song's better one than um, "I'll Make a Man Out of You." Oof. Whoa. Uh, that that's that. that's our girl. That's a hot, that's a that. hot take. You can't say that. And now we lost the one subscriber. <laughs> you? <laughs> oh wow. Which which song do you think you think uh I'll make a man out of you is better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, I don't know what to expect from this remake. I feel like every remake Disney has done has been very different from the last. Mm-hmm. Uh what what are their current lists? Well, they did Beauty and the Beast. Apparently, that one was decent. Yeah, that yes. one did and exceptional. It was also, um, musical, right? Yes, it is. They did Aladdin, which apparently was okay. Got also mixed reviews. Musical? Yeah, yeah, it was mo- a mostly positive, I think. Uh, and Jungle Book. Jungle Book. I loved Jungle was Book. Was good. Actually. Jungle Book was done yeah, really well. That was really good. And then The Lion King is coming out this week or next week. Uh, this week. This week. And then right. Dumbo. that one looks pretty decent. Does it? Uh, there's also Dumbo, which apparently was that one was mixed reviews. Yeah, I think that one was the most mixed. Yeah, mainly because yeah. of Tim Burton's uh, directing style, I guess. I was okay with it. You enjoyed it, but yeah. you saw it for free, didn't you? Of course, a list member. Yeah, see, so you, you, it's a subjective. If you had, would you have paid money to see it? No. Okay. See. Um. Who pays money now? <laughs> um. What's it called? I think Jungle Book was. We liked it a lot because we weren't. It. It was about the time when they just started, re, making all the old classics. Mm-hmm. So, so you we, feel like it was we more weren't nostalgia. saturated. We weren't saturated on it. Rather. Um. No. Yeah. I think as a movie, it stands out on its own pretty well, regardless. Yeah, they changed some features, like, definitely. But it never really strayed away from the main story of it, which like I enjoyed. With, like, Beauty and the Beast is just a straight retelling, but more as a musical, a la uh, La Miserables, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Miserables, or uh, Lalo. Is La La Land a musical? Yes. I, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't either. That's what I'm Same. asking. Movie experts. <laughs> I hate yes. musicals. Uh, so it is a musical. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay. For which movie? La La, La Land. Land. Yes, oh, it yeah. was a musical. Oh yeah, and I, it was really good. It was a musical, but yeah, I didn't watch it because it was a musical. Yeah, that's sort of. Okay, yes, it was a musical. No, it was not that type of musical. Listen, 
I watched like five minutes and they started singing. Uh-huh. And I was like, all right, this is not for me. That's yes. that's what throws me away from a movie. I don't like musicals either. And it, and it, I it wasn't like have... they just started singing. It's just they start they stopped in the middle of the highway and started oh, singing. I was like, yes, I what? Know. I know. I understand where you're coming from. It it was a musical, but at the same time, it was not the original typical uh, musical type of scenery. Was the Greatest Showman also a musical? It sounds. I believe Greatest it was. Greatest Showman was slightly a musical, but not that much. Was that good though? It was pretty good. I'm just making sure. Look, La La Land was pretty good. I I actually liked it. One of my so, friends cried in that movie. So then, your Roger. thoughts what on Mulan not being very music or singing focused? You think it's a positive um, change? For the type of scenery, I, for the type of uh, setting that it's going to be put into, I guess it makes sense. Although I still don't think um, having the original thing, uh, the original musicals from there would make it a little bit better. Gotcha. But that's just like in my nostalgic uh, perspective. See, for me, I'm still trying to wrap my head around certain main characters or what I thought were main characters in the original not being there. Mushu and Shang. Supposedly, yeah. Shang's not going to be the there. And the cricket. Yeah, we said this. Yeah, we said that. <laughs> yeah. Again, oh take the God. cotton balls out your ear holes. I'm sorry. The lag has gotten bad that now I'm going back five minutes. Oh, man. Okay. No, it's ten minutes at this point. Oh, yeah. At this point, he's going to become worse. a baby again. Oh, Benjamin Button. <laughs> That's a great movie, by the way. Okay, I have to contradict that because I fell asleep through it twice. Wait, which movie? <laughs> Benjamin, Benjamin, the Curious, the curious Case of Benjamin Button. I love that movie. I fell asleep through that movie twice. It's because not even, just... not even. I'm not gonna take to that from a way. man who listens to me. Ooh. Okay. Dang. That's Ooh. fair. Different stucks for different folks. I guess. Just don't rip on Iron Giant. I will murder you. Oh, uh, don't. Oh, if you guys it, rip on Iron Giant. It's impossible to do that. If no, you do, yeah. then I have, you know, just stay away from Unfriend. me. Unfriend. Stay away from me. From <laughs> just the stay away. The only reason I want to watch um, Bumblebee is because someone was like, this is a live action Iron Giant. <laughs> it, honestly, now that you mention it, it kind of is. So I'm just like, cool. no, nah, I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> I have it on my Plex server. So, so maybe I'll watch it later tonight. So, Jason, you were saying. Uh, what you thought were main characters no i'm just upset that they're not bringing them in i want to know what's gonna fill her role because they motivated her to do some of the things they did in the original Mm -hmm. and now those characters aren't going to be there to push her in the direction of like overcoming her sense of you know i guess honor who the ancestors Mm -hmm. yeah well mushu being there to guide her quote unquote guide her and then Shen for being like the love interest slash her general that's gonna be pushing her. You think Will uh, Will Smith ruined the quirky roles for all of the peoples? What? No. What? Because was he a good genie? I don't know, I didn't see Aladdin. Uh, I heard a lot of complaints about him being genie. But maybe that's just because Robin Williams did such an amazing job. Uh, okay. Uh for that movie I would say both genies deserve uh their own perspectives. You cannot take Robin Williams' a genie and Will Smith's genie and compare them both. They did both a good job, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Just the different things. Just the different things, and because of that, they should be classified as two different genies. Well, I think they should be classified as two different movies, considering one's a musical and one's an actual story. But I guess. So that, Mushu was played was by Eddie Murphy, right? Both? Yes. Was yes. Both? Can't they just bring <laughs> Eddie Murphy back? They should have. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I would pay. I would. I would pay double to see um, Eddie Murphy's face on a dragon's body. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Sounds like an early two thousands movie that they would make. Oh yeah. Um. Oh man. I mean, I gotta do something while I wait for Rush Hour Four, right? I mean, what are your guys' thoughts on the movie? I feel like I'm the only one who's worried about it. But... Um. I mean, nah, we haven't seen much. Listen, so. I'm not worried about it because all the Disney movies do really well. Just because they do well doesn't mean they are But that's good. the point of them making all these movies. They're just trying to cash in all the live action movies that they just keep yeah, and bringing the nostalgia. out. Show. You know what's funny? Someone was like, just wait until they uh, live action Toy Story. Oh my god. <laughs> with with oh, actual man. with the actual Woody Allen and um, <laughs> Tim Allen and 
what's his face? Well, so far they haven't done any of the live actions for the Pixar movies. Yeah. So hopefully they stay away from those. Yeah. Bugs Life would be yeah. really creepy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Toy Story live action, but have it be stop motion. Isn't Bugs Life just Planet Earth? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> sure. Man, until I see a a bug circus in Planet Earth, I'm not I'm, <laughs> I'm not buying it. Look, I think a Bug's Life could be okay. Cause if they're making a Sonic movie, I feel like they can make anything. I mean, they can. Doesn't so, mean they should. And the age old question. I mean, Bug's Life was already like three dimensional, so literally it'd just be RTX on. <laughs> Shut up. I hate you <laughs> so much. Would you rather see a Bug's Life or Ants? Did you even like Ants? <laughs> uh, I feel like Bug's Life overshadowed uh, Ants. Well, they were competing directly with one another. Yeah, Ants was by DreamWorks, right? Yeah. They yes. came out around the same time. Yep. Yo, so watch yeah, both. That's why. Like, it, it just overshadowed it. I think Ants I had weirder both. faces. It did have Ants weird had faces. Ants had weirder faces? It did. And I also feel like the ants, or uh, sorry, uh, Bugs Life villain was actually scarier than the ants one. Oh, yeah. What was the villain in ants? It was like it was um, that weird white thing. No, like it was bug- those um no. those other things. No, wait, I'm thinking it was the locust. So yeah, it was the locust. Yes, okay, yeah. yeah. So they were I'm both lo- else. Damn, what am I thinking of? So they were both locusts. The, the no, enemies. in Bugs Life, I thought it was a grasshopper. I thought there were locusts. Well, we gotta look it up now. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because oh, I, I thought they looked like locusts. Loki. Lo. No, there was multiple of them. General Mandible. I guess he was a former Queen's Army, so he's an ant as well. The, For the ants. Oh, the ants. Oh, I think I remember him now. Yeah. Oh, for so so far ants. Oh yes, good. I remember now. And then they had like the weird monsters. Which, yeah. what were they? They were know. termites. Oh, they were minor antagonists in the film Ants. Dude, I love this. I love this wiki page. It talks about his goals. It's like Mary Bala, the queen, failed. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the weak aspects of the colony for newer, stronger ones. Failed. <laughs> Kill Z and uh, Colonel Cutter. Failed. <laughs> so he's just like, uh, he's failed in everything. Yeah. <laughs> Crimes, attempted murder, oppression, tyranny, and treason. Oh my god, what a fucking monster. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It was termites, I think. No, the, the main did. villain was the general. Yeah, uh, the but termites he, was, were he just... was siding with termites. Yeah. yeah. And then, I guess in A Bug's Life, it's locusts. Mm. Yes. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I know, it wasn't a lo- locust. It is a grasshopper. Oh, so it is a grasshopper. His name is Hopper. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Funny enough. No, he's a locust. <laughs> no, he's not. No, I know. I'm just... You're like, his name's Hopper. It's... It was a joke. This guy. Do you guys remember the bees in the movie Ants? What? Yes, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a picture if you haven't already sent it. These guys. Yo. The crimes that fucking Hopper did is way worse. Weren't these weren't these like overly sexual? <laughs> were they? Were they were like mad in love with each other, weren't they? I think they were. Those they were are like, beasts. They're so they oh, weird. like wasps. I could pollinate you right now in front of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they spoke to. What's it called? Um, and here you can see the weird face versus the bug's life. Face. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they Disney definitely had a softer different studios. No, that was uh yeah. Pixar, and back then they weren't. uh They only had like a contract oh, with Disney. Disney. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! How do I remember this? DreamWorks is definitely uh an interesting art style. Did anyone yeah. also see a Shark yeah. Tale? Oh my God! Oh, uh, that how was do I remember with this? fire. Uh, it uh, it's one, okay. it was that show something Miss Spider and something she had all those kids yes, that she adopted exactly that's what I was thinking of when I was thinking of uh of villains from <laughs> the uh, villains. from Bugs Plan I just remember this one uh, yeah those wasps are uh, 
Interesting. Bees, get it right? They weren't I bees. Think they're Those wasps. are not bees. Those are wasps. I'll be honest, like Jason. This, this is the only part of the movie I remember. <laughs> it's when this guy's trying to get through the plastic. <laughs> Man, that was a weird movie. It was. It was. <laughs> I feel like it would have been better if it was more anatomically correct, to be honest with you. Because that just mm. looks wrong. Oh, wait, it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't uh, Ants have a nose so, like that? That's just weird. Uh, according to Rotten Tomatoes, this has a 93%. Ants? Which one? Ants. No oh. way. Wait, critic-wise as well? Crit- critic-wise is 93%. What's the How did we get from score? Mulan to 50, Ants? 52%. <laughs> Audience is 50%. <laughs> I just want that out there for the record. How did we get to ants for Mulan? Uh, I have no idea. Talk live about action, this. live action. This live. is not a live action. <laughs> live action, Bugs Life. Bugs Life had 92, <laughs> so ants was better according to Rotten Tomatoes. To critics. Mm-hmm. According to Rotten Tomatoes. When have critics been right? So, can I, can I tell you the crimes that Hopper committed, though? Mm-hmm. Like, if, if it... this was on any person, you would assume they'd be sentenced to death. Oh, did they tell you that they failed them, too? <laughs> yes, all failed. It says they, they don't even say failed individually. It just says all failed. <laughs> <laughs> His crimes are slavery, abuse, terrorism, attempted homicide, attempted regicide, kidnapping, torture, extortion, death threats, murder, and conspiracy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. At least two years in prison. <laughs> if you have the money. If you have money. If you have money. <laughs> Which I mean, he he ha- technically had the money in, in the the movie because he, he was, was loaded from... in leaves or something, whatever. They're yeah, because he was getting them from the 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 ants. I mean, his goals were to keep the ants under his control, as grasshoppers fed on their food supplies. Uh, squash the queen in order to gain the gynarchy. Of the ant island removed, and then kill Flick. Those are his yes. Goals. Mainly kill and, Flick. Yeah, because he got he in the failed way. all of them. Yo, can I? Was there a pink ant? In which one? Ants. A no. bug's life. A bug's life. Bug's life. Um, oh yeah, it was the kid. The kid could fly, dude. Yeah, because she was a uh, technically a, how they put it, a princess of the <laughs> ants. That explains everything. <laughs> Yo, do you help her world in Kingdom Yo, Hearts, Jason? Yo, I'm mad at this movie now. <laughs> You're mad at the movie? Anatomically speaking, the male ants actually get the wings so they can fly to queens, reproduce, and then the males die and lose their wings so they can become food for the queen. This pisses me off. How... Their picks are not put that in the show. Movie. That <laughs> I'm just you saying, know, you know how Flick should have uh, gotten wings. That's all I'm saying. I feel oh no! Like what I, I do? The, I feel like I found the reason why we uh trailed off to Bugs Life and Ants. Oh what? And what? Thanks to the cricket in Mulan. Oh yeah, is the cricket gone too? Yep. I are think most sure of the just fantasy stuff add- is gone from the movie. So they want to like ground it in reality. Pretty much. Basically, they want to, supposedly it's they're so trying to make it more of a horror movie. They're trying to make it more of a like a documentary stylish. No, yeah, not documentary. It a movie? No, not it's documentary, like a standalone, but you know. uh, you know, just action movie based on Mulan. Is it at least PG thirteen? It's PG. You know this. Did they take out Commander so, Shang? So they're not gonna kill anyone or anything, show any blood. So they want it grounded in reality, uh, but they're gonna solve their crimes peacefully. Maybe not any blood, but there will be the action of it. I like one thing I do hope that they keep in is like the whole like them walking up onto the burned village, like that. Or how that about affected the part Mulan where Mulan, Mulan gets a five thousand kill streak. <laughs> I mean, this is literally like a military-style ancient Chinese movie. There's definitely going to be violence. Yeah. There should be, but I feel like instead of you know how what's his fucking name, the villain. Uh, yes. anybody remember? I I know who you're uh, talking about. I forgot his name. 
Yeah, I don't fucking remember his name either. Like, pretty much the equivalent to Attila the Hunt or something. Basically. Uh, he gets blown up, right? Yes, Shen Yu. He gets... Like, he dies Shen... in a firework. Yeah, he he dies at the oh, end. Oh, yeah, he dies firework. in the fireworks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in this movie they're just going to make him surrender. Uh, I, I really him. hope not. I would like to see Mulan decapitate him off screen. <laughs> No, yeah, like, not Mulan, but, like, somebody be like, we're going to execute this guy for all the crimes he's committed. Basically, like, when they're off screen. Like how on Tarzan, they show the, the hanging corpse of the, the hunter. Oh, yes. yeah. That, I want that. <laughs> but, like, decapitation. Like, they just show the shadow. Ching! Yeah. But then, that's why I was asking if it was PG-13. If it was PG-13, I believe they could go that route. Keeping it PG makes me think, nah, they're going to they're gonna be friendly about it. If it's PG, they might just show the shadow of him uh, Disney doesn't below allow the head and then just him falling instead of the decapitation. Yeah, Disney doesn't allow decapitations, remember? Yep. That's true. Well, no, never mind. Thanos doesn't count. <laughs> I was about to say Marvel. <laughs> the opening was owned by Disney. Oh, by Disney. They let it happen. Technically different studio. Yeah, this really this let name. it happen. Though. Disney Studios, and that's but yeah, Marvel I hope you know Mysterio was using mind control. Hey, what? Yeah. No, no spoilers for Spider Man. That wasn't a spoiler. It I know, literally I know is Mysterio. That. I know that, but still, it's like we don't want to accidentally step. I mean, it's not like the movie is uh-huh. based off any comics or anything that have been out for years. Right. <laughs> yeah, that anybody can just go grab and read. Was the Night Monkey bit? In the comments, though? No comment. No comment. I'm not a But, nerd. uh, yeah. I, I just hope that they do keep, like, some of the violence. Again. Is the trio at least going to be in it? I know two of them are going to be in it. I don't know about the third one. I know That's... Ling, I know, is going to be in it because he's played by that YouTuber I was talking about, uh, Jimmy Wong. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the the big one, is, I forgot his name. But the the big guy is being played by someone else. But he's slim. He's like he actually looks. He would look like a soldier. So they're not sticking to like the to the actual like physical traits. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, here here's the the two do that I know for sure. They're going oh, to be. Oh, Poe. Yeah. But like I said, he they're not keeping his Wait, the Shen's physical in the movie? Yes. Then who told me that he wasn't? I was asking. Yeah, he's in the movie, played by a guy named Yosun An. Yeah, all I said is I know that these two I don't know if the I didn't know if the third was, but there we have it. Uh, the so the trio is going to be in there. Hey, hey, Lewis. Yes. You want me to make you happy? Yeah. The cricket's actually in this. Fuck yes. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm worried uh, worried about. That's all you wanted. And now, uh, and now I'm already reserving my ticket. <laughs> Jesus. They're not even on sale yet. A list can do whatever they want. It comes out in 2020. <laughs> A list can do whatever no, they, they want. No, they can't. Uh, how do you know? I am B list. <laughs> Damn. Shit. One step below me. <laughs> One step ahead. Yo, can I say it's gonna be cool seeing Jet Li as the Emperor? Yeah. Well, you, do some crazy you can, shit. You can we'll say that. Yeah. It's been a good minute. Looking at this cast, I'm not. I'm not as offended anymore. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> you just jumped on the bandwagon. I, I did. I was like, yo, this is going to be scary. And now I'm like... Come on. Hmm, when, it, when is Jason ever known for rationally thinking? That's also true. Uh, uh, there is apparently uh, an evil witch character that's being added to the film that wasn't in the original. Interesting. Really? Mm-hmm. They wanted to ground this in fucking reality, so they took out the best dragon in fucking movie ever toothless and, and put in a witch oh. and the commander no he's he's in shanks but he dies 
commander, the commander, commander that tongue? dies. They're talking about the captain. Yeah. Mulan's love interest is there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Chen's there. Oh, hmm. okay. Hmm. Hmm. So what have they taken out? Mushu! Other than Mushu. The cricket? is a sad loss. No, the, no, the cricket is, is announced ah. there. God, you're just like Frankie, you know. That's <laughs> shit. You had to watch Mulan two to understand. Mulan two. Um, was Mulan two even that worth it? It was straight to DVD. You tell me. <laughs> That's who they took out. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Sorry. I'm looking this up just to confirm before I say anything. They took out Sean Yu. Me? Shen Yu? Yeah. Oh. They took him out what completely. Would, why would they take out the main villain? Because no they got idea. the they got ah. the witch now. So this isn't a remake, I don't think. Or at least if it is, this is a really shitty remake. Then it's a reboot. This changes everything. So the villain so yeah, the, is being replaced by another character witch. called Bori Khan. He's boring. Wait. It says the no. It says the villain character Bori Khan, played by blah blah blah, takes the place of Shan Yu in the 1998 film. That kind of sucks. I mean, I understand it's gonna be essentially the same character, but I like the continuity. Mm. Yeah. But like, would it make a big difference? No, like I said, in the long scheme of things, it's not gonna make any fucking difference. I just wish they had the same name. We're just we'll just have to see what else uh, they show us. Uh, Wait, later so on they the take off. If they take out Shen Yu, there's not gonna be a five thousand kill streak no more. Wait, what? If they take out Shen Yu, there won't be a five thousand kill streak no more. Well, we don't know what Bori Khan's kill streak is. Maybe it's better. No, 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 no. Mulan's kill streak. I'm sure um, she'll still have when one. When she takes out the whole army of, of Shen Yu. We don't know that yet. Yeah. Okay. If she doesn't get her kill streak, I'll be sad. At least she'll, 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 she'll probably at least get a UAV. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe a care package. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. She'll unify China without killing a single person. Because Disney boys. Nah. Her passion's gonna uh, shine Mulan. through. You're gonna pull a, the Last Jedi. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> Gets the dogs. <laughs> well. Uh. Well, Ivan, take us out. How would you like to be taken out today? Um, steak dinner. Steak dinner. Ooh, too pricey. <clears throat> so I'll do this instead. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Thank you guys for um, watching the Burning Ship podcast. If you have any questions for uh, Frankie and the gang, feel free to leave them down below and let us know how, how we're doing. It really means a lot. If you, if you guys manage to stay here to the end, consider uh, subscribing and leaving a notification on. So you will be notified when we're uh, doing more episodes, which should be every Friday at 3, right? Yeah. That's when they go up? Yeah. <laughs> Usually. Usually. They might be subject to change. Uh, we do have a Twitter at The Burning Ship where Frankie might, might um, start using it. So be on the lookout for that. And, like he was saying, if you have no time to watch us... <sighs> you okay? Sorry about that. You okay? <laughs> I was choking a little bit. <laughs> yeah. If, if you don't have time to watch us uh, on YouTube, we are um, available as a podcast on Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, Podbean. And yeah. So, to correct you on the Twitter handle, it is at BurningShipYT. It's okay. The burning ship was taken. If subscribers, I'll let Chris out of the basement. Whoa. Only when he gets out. I'm oh, calling no. the police. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but yeah. He's having yeah. fun. Goodbye, everyone. Peanuts. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.